Hi, welcome back to Pia Tech Talk and to my second video on NXP MCXA microcontroller. In this video I will install the tools needed. It will be the MCU Expresso and the SDK. Then I will import the Hello World project from the SDK and build, compile and download to the Freedom MCXA 153 board. I will also show how to use the built-in terminal software in the MCU Expresso, so we can see the printf messages sent from our development board. Hope you find it interesting, so tag along! First of all you need to have some software to assist you in developing. Uh, you can use IAR, Kyle, you can use VS Code Studio, uh, but I would like to use the software that is uh, free of charge from NXP. So I go with nxp.com slash mcx and hit enter. Then you need to log in. Uh, so you go under my NXP account and I am logged in. So we can go back so when you hit uh, nxp.com-mcx, you will land on this page. And it says MCX Industrial and IoT Controllers. And uh, there is something now that talks about the four families that I described in my previous uh, video. And uh, it says they're also coming soon, as I said. So these three families are already launched and the L family is coming soon. Uh, but we need to install some uh, software and there is a uh, software called MCU Expresso and it's uh, Eclipse based uh, software and you can run it on uh, Windows which I'm doing or you can run it on Linux, you can run it on uh, Ubuntu, you can run it on uh, my uh, uh, Apple as well in uh, iOS or oh, Apple Mac books. You can even run it on, on virtual machines, I'm told, but it's not recommended. There are normally some st uh, problems there. So we go with MCU Express Integrated Development Environment, IDE, in my case. And uh, we can see that there are some information here that we can read about. But we just go with downloads and take us to this one. Then you come to this, so you see you have Linux, you have Mac OS, and you have uh, Windows. So I'm running with the uh, Windows version, and it's a big download, it's a bit more than one gigabyte. Here you have the first choice that you are given, and uh, one common thing to think about is do not have very long path. It will only get problems in the end. So try to keep it as short as possible. So now that we have got it installed, it took some time, so I uh, suggest you have a coffee break in the meantime. But let, let it finish down here as well, because when you get this welcoming page, it still tries to update some information uh, that are late uh, installs. So let it be until it's uh, clear down here. So what we now do is uh, the next step, and that is to install the SDK. Uh, so you have support for the microcontroller that you would like to do your work on. Uh, this MCU Expresso can support many microcontrollers, and uh, so they are not from default every software installed with it, because then it would be too big. 
So uh, you only install the software development kits uh, for your microcontroller that you would like to do. So we can go with download and install SDKs. So now you get greeted with this page and uh, here you see there is a lot of boards and uh, we can filter MCU selection here for instance. So if I just write MCXA, I, it filters down now to one board and that is the MCXA153 evaluation kit, the Freedom Board, and that is the one that I'm going to look at. And we can also see here there is uh, which version uh, there is the software development kit, that is the 2.14.2 and uh, it's the MCU on the board, uh, which one that one is and uh, how much flash it has and how much RAM it has. So we will go with this one and we will install. Accept terms and conditions. Great, so now we have installed the SDK, so we can go for the next part, and this is a welcome screen, and if we like it, we have this, bo uh, this ticket here, always show welcome at startup, otherwise we can close it down, and we can just click it uh, up here, so we do like that. Uh, so what we can see now that we have installed an SDK, and this is the one that we have installed, you can have more than one, uh, so... Uh, but you need at least one and the one that you're working with then of course. So now we can create a new project or we can import SDK examples because in this uh, SDK there are examples in it. So we start with that one and uh, we, I just hit the import SDK examples and we got this uh, SDK import whistle. Uh, I only have one SDK installed, so that is the reason for me having only one here. And then we can see what uh, examples there are, and we are going to look into these demo apps. And there is an Hello World, which is always a great way to start. And we can make our own project name, for instance. And we can just hit finish. So now we have created a pro the we have got the project created for us, so we have it up here, hello world, and we have the hello world.c up here. And what I normally do is I just try to build it from the very beginning before I, I make any errors or make any code changes to it, and I see it built great and there was no errors and no warnings. So the project, there is nothing wrong with the project from the beginning at least. So if there is any problems later on, I am the one who have made those problems. Uh, the next step is to download the software into the board itself. But for this you need the board and you also need to connect it to the USB of course. This is the Freedom MCXA development board uh, that comes in this little box. And uh, I have taken out the board itself and it looks like this. So inside the box you get this board. And you also get the USB-C cable. And as you can see there are two connectors here. The, there is two USB-C and that one is the one that have the connector for uh, debugging in connect, connected to it. So I will have my USB-C connector to just put into this one. So now it could be that I already have some software on it. Uh, so your, if you have it for the first time it could be that your LED is blinking different than mine. So don't take any notice of that one. Uh, it could be that I already have some software on it. But this is the tool and uh, you have here uh, the debugger and you have the microcontroller itself there. 
So what we're now going to do is to download the Hello World into this microcontroller. So if we then go back to the LPC Expressor board, you can see down here we have the Quick Start panel. And the Quick Start panel is, is for your assistance. You can always, always also use these up here, but it's easy to go wrong there. So this is uh, made for your assistance. So you have the build there, uh, which I'm used up there. Uh, so it's the same. You just press it and it builds without any errors. And then you go on to do debug it, so you hit the debug. And it goes out on making a probe to try to connect to uh, the hardware. And it's found some hardware on it. And it says there is an update for the discovery probes. And uh, this is there. So it says semi-hosting Telnet console uh, for starter. So it also has this uh, that it will make a printf statement on the serial port. So on the same board, that uh, on the same um, USB connector, you also have a serial port uh, to, uh, to make any debugging on. So we can make a terminal on this one. And we'll hit this one, open a terminal. And we will have a local serial terminal, and which COM port it will vary. Uh, I'm not sure which it is here. It is either 26 or 31. I will take a chance on 26. It might be wrong. But the board rate is correct, so you just hit OK. And then it says failed. OK, then it was the other one. So I will go with 31 instead then. So now we get Hello World, and um, we just run Hello World, and you can see, so now the software is running, and there is something blinking now on the board as well. But to make some changes on the code, so we can see that uh, we actually did something on it. So we just changed the printf message here, and we can then use the build, and we use the debug again. And we change to the terminal, and we hit run. So now we see the new message, hello from MCXA. So this was the uh, installation of the MCU Expresso and uh, also installed the SDK uh, from then and then we also installed some software examples, compiled examples, downloaded it to the code and uh, debugged it. So I hope that you learned something from this start and uh, now we can continue to install other examples or uh, go about to make your own projects. Hope you learned something and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber please think of su supporting the channel by subscribing. And if you have something notice for me, some information to me, please use the chat in the, in the application below. So until I see you next time, stay safe. Bye.